Tonight, dozens of community members gathered to celebrate the history of Pontchartrain Park. Eleanor Tabone brings us there. Amid the excitements of Essence Festival and the events this weekend, the community tonight recognized the significance of Pontchartrain Park. That was a glorious day, I can tell you that. Mrs Audrey Woods moved to Pontchartrain Park in 1958. It was $500 for the closing costs, and that included one whole year of insurance. So you can see how great that was, what a great opportunity that was for African Americans. I'm so glad I was a part of it. The neighborhood she went on to raise her four children, teaching them the meaning of perseverance. Kids would walk to the bus stop. In fact, I had to get up early in the morning because the other race was, would throw rocks after we passed what we call the ditch, and that separated us from them. Pontchartrain Park was built between 1955 and 1961. It was one of the first suburban style subdivisions developed for African Americans in the South. It was always my desire to live in this area. A member of the Pontchartrain Park Association, Curtis Perkins, has called this neighborhood home for 15 years. It's not just a community where um, we're family, but it's also a community where it gives you gratification for being a part of this family. Thursday, Pontchartrain Park's historical marker was unveiled. <laughs> It's good to have somewhere to come back home to and also something that has been established by uh, parents and grandparents. We knew that we were meant to be here and we were not going to let anything stop us. It's this park longtime residents told me they once came to to hang out with their neighbourhood friends. Those same residents want future generations to enjoy this park as much as they did. Eleanor Tabone, Eyewitness News.